On this episode, a mission menu. Fred Stafford working. Coming up, chef. My six-year-old daughter, Mia, that's my motivation to succeed. If this restaurant was to fail, I don't know what I would do. You know, the heart of Italian cooking is simplicity. Right. Well, this is my father's recipe, and then my secret ingredient. Ricardo's birthday is two days from now. I'm making him a birthday cake. I hope you like it, chef. Wow! You made that? At the heart of every great restaurant is great food. My name is G, and this is my team. We're like the United Nations of chefs. We'll go anywhere and try anything to create the perfect menu. Cooking is what we do. Saving restaurants is our mission. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. Let's start planning. Drop what you're doing. Grab those plates over there. Put them out there. Let's see what we got to use. My name is G. Me and my team are the best at creating one-of-a-kind menus for our clients. I'm going to go back to my work over here. Ricardo, you keep playing with your nuts. That's Diane, my other business partner. She's Korean, she's Iranian, and let me tell you, she's got bigger balls than most men I know. I want you guys to taste it. It looks like a dog throw up. That's Ricardo, my other business partner. By far, he has the most experience out of all of us. What I mean by experience is that he's the oldest. Don't you have a birthday coming up? Yes, so what? Ooh, old man. Don't worry about it. We're gonna get you a gold-plated oxygen tank. Hot. It's gonna go with that watch. <laughs> Without a doubt, we have to do something for Ricardo's birthday. But first, Ricardo and I, we gotta meet up with a new client that's in desperate need of a new menu. John. Yes. How you doing, Jay? Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Pleasure. That's John. This family man once had the top restaurant in town. Now he's at rock bottom. His profits have dropped nearly 40% in the last two years. So tell me a little bit about this place. We've been in business since 1996. We serve Italian food. We try to keep it simple, you know, with fresh pastas, organic ingredients. How long have you had this current menu? Basically for like the last 15 years. 15 years, wow. Yeah. Tell us about the clientele. What's going on in the area? There's 80 restaurants. 80? Yeah, within like two, three miles, I guess. Jeez. Wow, wow. A lot of competition. Absolutely, wow. Give me an idea of what's on the line here. If I don't get this restaurant in the right direction, I'm gonna have to shut the doors down. Do you have a family? Yes, I have a wife and a daughter. Wow. Basically, I do this because of my daughter. You know, give her a good future and send her to college. So let me tell you, I feel for this guy. There's nothing more important than family. We gotta find out what's going on with this food. Here we have the Atlantic salmon with the sauteed broccoli rabe and fingerling potatoes. 14 ounce of veal chop. Jesus. Here's the uh, linguine alla nostra. Ooh. Here's the pappadella uh, bolognese. Please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I noticed right away? The same garnish everywhere. Yeah. Sauteed spinach, you get mashed potatoes. It's too boring. It's too boring. Yeah, exactly. But you know, and this is what happens when people are in the same kitchen, everything looks the same. Yes, this is a guy that has a blinders on. Problem number one, presentation. I mean, looking at these dishes, it's like wearing a mullet. They were hot one time, but they ain't hot no more. So let's try the black linguine seafood pasta. OK. Tasty, right? So let's try the veal chop. All right. I have to say, the flavor is there. Yeah. But I think it's just too big of a plate. If I eat this right here, I'll gain five pounds just walking out the door. What'd you guys think? Well, there's no doubt this place has been successful for so many years. It's because the food has been good. But it's just completely boring. And our challenge is, at this point, is to kind of bring it up to date. So when do you need this menu by? Um, hopefully by the end of the week. All right, we're going to start doing some research. We'll do the relaunch in five days. Very good. All right, John, good thanks luck. for having us. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you.